Hi, I'm Jude. I'm a freelance apparel designer and recently I switched from Google Drive to WeTransfer. For more information, follow the link below. So both of these platforms applications help me as a designer to communicate uh, the projects or the files that I have to other clients. Sometimes they're textiles, photographs, or presentations. They're very large and I just can't email them. So I need a, a place where I can upload and then they could see the work that I've done. So I love WeTransfer for one thing. It's so easy to upload the files. When I have um, textile prints, photograph, or those huge presentations, all I have to do is upload it to WeTransfer and when my client receives the link on the other side, all they have to do is just open up that link and they get the entire file. It's so easy that that's why I love it. What I love about Google Drive is that if you have Gmail, you already have access to the drive. So if I'm on the go, I have access to the files because I don't need Wi-Fi. The, the files are actually there. And when I want to send a client um, my project, I can upload it by sending them a link. And if I want only them to see it, I can also customize that. Um, and also if they want more people to see it, I could also customize that as well. Um, it's, and I also have a lot of storage up to 15 gigabytes. So it does give me a lot of, um, a lot of options and I can also organize my files and delete files. However, I feel accordingly. Getting started super, super easy. Let's start with WeTransfer. WeTransfer, all you have to do is sign up with your email. They'll send you a link and you enter a code and you could just start transferring files immediately and your recipient will get the link and they can download immediately as well. Um, with Google Drive, if you already have a Gmail account, half the work is done. All you have to do is you can download the app for your phone or just uh, follow the link and go into um, the Google Apps and find Drive and start sending your links of all your work. It's that easy. For WeTransfer, I think the ease of use that it's free. Now I'm a freelancer and I'm watching my budget. So I love the fact that it's free and you have up to, I think about two gigabytes of storage and that you could send, not storage, sorry, I take that back. It's actual two gigabytes of uploadable files that you can send. Um, and it makes it affordable for you. But let's say you get into like more files that you need to send, you could really transfer into like this other area called Pro and you can upload more files. And the same thing with Google Drive. You have about 15 gigabytes uh, available for you for storage. You can um, you know, store your files, you can send presentations, you can send any kind of document and it's very easy to use. So I highly recommend that as well. Um, but my preference would be for WeTransfer only because in terms of if you're working with textiles or prints, it does accommodate for those larger files, and especially if your client may not, let's say I had an interview recently and I uh, was using MSN as the platform and we couldn't really go to Google Drive and WeTransfer was the champion tool to use during that process and I was able to upload and show her my work uh, for that prospective uh, job.